Hey everyone, Scorp here, starting another playthrough of Duelist of the Roses Chaos mod. Um, I'm going with Warriors today, I think. Um, and I'm siding with Yugi's side first because that's the file that I chose to start with. Um, or the set of, of the game I chose to start with. Um, Chaos mod actually is different between the two sides. You have to make sure that you use the right game for it otherwise um your first duel is going to be painful you will not have a good time against Taya. go ahead overwrite the save data get rid of that overpowered zombie deck that we just finished um so we have be honest we don't have we have some options um we can make a performance of sword fusion probably if we have a second protector of the throne <laughs> nope we only have one in the deck awesome oh we have a green kappa well that's a broken card um we have a supporter in the shadows. We only have M Warrior 1s. No M Warrior 2s, it doesn't look like. Um, Warrior Tradition. Um, we can fuse into Judge Man. What do we have down here? Some cards to get rid of enemy cards. We have a Fissure, Stop Defense, Dungeon Hole. Legendary Sword's pretty good. And a Malevolent Nuzzler. Insect Imitation? We have a Monster Egg, I assume? It's gonna be one of the first cards that leaves the deck. Well, it's not terrible. Um... I'm going to go ahead and put in a password just to make this deck slightly better. I doubt it needs it. Uh, oops. Y, Z. Uh, oops. Y, Z, Y. There's a lot of Z's in this password. So, um, Invisible Wire will just be a good card. It's better than our mail. Getting rid of one really bad card doesn't ever hurt. Um, I also just hate Warriors. I have a personal vendetta against them in terms of how useless I think they are. Um, we could also grab a Bright Castle, although that won't be very useful. Um, unless there's like a Skull Knight fusion or something. Which I don't think there is. Okay, so first order of business. Who do we take down? Neither of these two are particularly good for our cause. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, let's see here. I mean, I guess if we went with the dinosaur route, we could actually make Sword Arm of Dragon. Um, yeah. Good fusions are very far between. Um, our other option is Pyro, which neither of these two have. Um, probably our best bet is actually to kill Weevil and get him to drop a man eater bug for us. Which is unlikely, considering he's a pain. He's not that strong, but he's pretty annoying. 
Um, at least in this side, going starting on the side, we don't have to deal with every bit of paint. Well, this is a great start. Not the, not the worst. Oh, that's really bad. So he played Jiragamo, which is just straight up like the best card in his deck at level four. Actually, it's pretty much the best level four monster in the game by and in nearly a gigantic margin. So that's really bad. Hmm. Well, there is one good thing about this card. It can be faked out, and the AI will put it in defense for no good reason. Hmm. Okay. And it also does damage to him slowly, so... It will slowly just kill him. Um, I should probably turn off the battle animations. Honestly, for that uh, zombie deck, I should have turned them on. Considering how long that took. Or lack of how long that took. Let's see if he'll kill the Skull Stalker. Oh, I didn't turn this off, no. I can skip it real quick. Giving that thing a minus 300, though, is pretty good for me. I do not need Eye of Truth this duel. Okay. Well, he didn't put that thing in defense, which is unfortunate. Let's make it a 2100. I think he might have a larva of moth in his deck, and that's about it. I really need to turn this off. Maybe I'll actually pay a little more attention. <sighs> if you guys can't tell, my mind is elsewhere. I mean, this is bigger than it... on Wasteland. So let's do this. Um, it's really terrifying to let Weevil build up like this, but I mean, I don't really have a choice. But we've uh, made that Jiragamo a 1600 now. The only problem is, is that I would like to not get rid of my own legendary sword here. 
And I have uh, dealt quite a bit of life point damage to him. More than negated the those two. Well, we'll see if he can throw that Dragomo in defense. And I'll actually remember to turn off battle this time. Um, if he knew better, he could actually kill my Warrior of Tradition still. But I know the AI doesn't know that much. I am definitely not giving it that much credit. I really hate block attack, so I'm just getting rid of it. At some point, I will draw something that I can just kill this dragon with. Or I'll drag it around the field so long that he ends up killing himself. Well, this is going to kill something. I wonder what I gailed. Never mind. Um, honestly, killing that monster was probably dangerous for me. Although it probably almost killed that Dragomo, so... Well, this is a pretty strong warrior of tradition now. Oh, I would have liked to start it against Rex so I could have gotten invigoration from him, I think. Ooh. I'd like to bait more of his cards out. Well, that's terrible. I'd like to let him attack me first, if I can, so I can do A, so I can do a bunch of damage. Um, if I can possibly get them to be on this wasteland terrain, that would be perfect. Um, but also, um, uh, I'm worried about that card. It could be Larva of Moth. Ooh, a Gokabor. Probably saying that wrong. It's probably Gokibore. I have absolutely let him play out 10 cards, though. Okay. Not a monster, so that's good. Um... He probably has... Well, he doesn't have a block attack. He might have a negate attack. Oh, um... Oh, that's great for me. Ooh, that's, that's good for me. Ooh, a Rose Spectre. Even better. That's 1,400 damage for me right there. Um, okay. Uh, I want to make sure that I actually get the full 1400 damage here. Okay, no negate attack. It's pretty good. Um, that's like trading a stop defense for, um, 
1400 damage is, or guaranteeing 1400 damage is pretty good. Uh, sir? Well, I have lethal. I mean, that card he just played is a monster, so... I guess I just take the lethal. Definitely didn't get um, a man-eater bug like I wanted. But hey, we won. Uh, Red Medicine is the best card I could get here in these slots, so since there's no um, Man-Eater Bug in them. It's a shame I didn't get the three in a row there, but that's okay. <sighs> okay. One person down. And I am almost certain they have literally nothing for us, so... Let's go to Rex. Um, he might not be allowed to play equip cards right now. I kind of like him to play equip cards, although I don't want to deal with a card with equip cards. Um, I did draw a Dimension Hole, so I probably should have just played super aggressively on him. Well, Fake Trap can leave our deck anytime it wants to. Okay. There goes the block attack. Time for a Cybersaurus with an equip. Or something with an equip. Okay, so he played an equip. Which is... Hopefully it's... It's an Invigoration, which is something that we really want to put in our deck. Um, It's probably relatively large. I mean, I doubt it's the largest thing he could play. But I mean, I, I'm just wondering if I'm actually going to get a better green cap than this. 2600's not terrible. Oh. I guess I should have waited a turn. That card's terrifying. Um, so that's a... First card's a Mega Zowler. Um, this is a Cybersaurus with an extra 800 attack power. So it's a 3100. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. Um, do I even have a Succubus Knight in my deck for the Vishwar Rondi? I can compete with the Cybersaurus, but I can't do it. in the middle of the wasteland field. Okay. Okay, I think we can deal with it.
Yeah. That's how big it is. That minus 300 is pretty good. I'm not putting it directly in front of me because I want to make sure that the Cybersaurus hits it and not another card. So I don't really feel like taking 2800. Okay, it's beatable. What's the weakest monster on the field? That. Okay. I am kind of worried that the both of those are Speller Traps. Actually, I would guess that at least one of them is. I don't have anything good in my hand to test for a spell or trap, though. Well, we got a curse breaker. That's excellent. Oh, that's a practical. I would like to force him over to the left. If I can. That equip is going to be kind of bad for me, though. So now it ties my green kappa. Okay. I just put the Moon Curry in front of the Cybersaurus so that it wouldn't move a whole bunch. Hmm. I do have lethal. But where's the fun in that? I probably should have taken that lethal. Um, and if you guys didn't see it, uh, I could have crashed my green kappa into a cybersaurus and tied. Um, and then um, killed it, basically. Or, and then moved my deck leader forward and then attacked him directly. It would have been a very aggressive play. Hey, I've made another 2900 attack beat stick. Um, I moved my green kappa first so that I could play around a block attack if he had one. I am scared that that card over there is a curse breaker. 
Oh, we have a swordsman from a foreign land in this deck? That's pretty good. Um, I just put the Kanan in face up defense so it'll bait an attack from him. Oh, we're, um, we'll just get a stop defense to kill him. It's curse breakers from the value. No being defensive. Goodbye. We won. Well, that was easy enough. Now let's make sure that we get an invigoration out of this graveyard slot. Cyber Commander. Okay, we got one. That's all that I cared about. An infinite dismissal would have been good, but it's not nearly as good as a single invigoration. Um, we actually have quite a few really good cards in our deck that we could just go farm from ourselves. If we wanted to do such a thing. But... I don't know. I don't think we need to farm that bad with this deck. Maybe I'm out in left field there, but... Oh, we do have a Succubus Knight. But we don't have a Sword of Dark Destruction. I have several cards I'm like, hmm. I don't ever want to draw that. Beaver Warrior can go, for sure. This Invigoration... We can make Cyber Soldier with this. Um, Cyber Soldier's not great. Um, Red Medicine's better than Fake Trap. Okay, so... Um, I mean, I guess Mega Zowler's not nothing, but I don't really want to use it. And Cyber Commander is kind of meh. I mean, it'd be great if I were running a machine deck, but I'm not running a machine deck. And, I mean, it would be kind of okay against... Ugh. It's not great against Bones. Well, anyway, we, we got some cards. Um, we slightly improved the deck. Um... And we're playing through as warriors, so it's not that bad. Um, with all this, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.